Good evening, Geek Nation. I'm George, and this is That Geek Show, the show where we talk about the latest and greatest from the worlds of collecting, movies, video games, TV, and tech. Sorry about running a little late today. We got into a little bit of a conversation before the show actually started, and I just lost track of time. Seth put me on the track, though. <laughs> uh, so with me to break all this stuff down, he's back. My brother from another mother, Calvin the Statue Fanatic. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Glad to be back, man. I was in your neck of the woods last week. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Should have drove up to see you, man. I, I kind of miss Orlando. Yeah, yeah I, I posted some pictures. I, I figured you'd see him, man. I was over at Disney Springs. Uh, nice. The grudge probably is uh, stalking me right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got the king of pop himself in the house. Seth, what's up, bro? What? It's popping everybody. You got a unique way of doing that, man. I try, I've been trying to do that, you know, because after watching people's videos do it and everything, I'm trying to do it myself. And it's, it's literally... It's literally yeah. Uh-oh, we got to get a lesson. Well, yeah. no. It's, you have it, to. It basically, it basically comes from, you know, coming from the diaphragm. And then also, you know, you've got to have your balls tucked up there really high when you do that. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that <laughs> you go, taps into yeah! that, that inner... Oh, that inner 11 year old is still there <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so all right so, man some would say puberty was never hit oh <laughs> it's a little much all right all right <clears throat> nice. say what's up to the statue stallion what's going on hey, junior what's up everyone good How good good bro? great to have you back great to have you back calvin all right so you know same same shit Different days. <laughs> different days. <laughs> all right, all right. We got the connoisseur of comics in the house. What's up, Chad? How you doing, man? Drink it in, man. <laughs> YouTube is 90. What is going on, guys? Super excited to be here. Monday night, geeking out with all the homies. Let's go. Let's do it. Is the whole world aware? Yeah, that YouTube is 90? You best believe they know. <laughs> <laughs> and, if you, and if you're not aware, you just made the list. <laughs> Red <Bad>. Dad. <laughs> All right, we got two guests tonight. First, coming back for another round with us, we got Jason from JW Statues, right? JW Statues. JW Statues, that's right, on Instagram. What's up, Jason? Good. How are you, man? Doing well. It's good to be back. I, I turned my mic off before, okay? Just want to let you know that. I was, you know, I'm, I'm a seasoned veteran now. This is my second time around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. you all got a good laugh on me last time, but not not today. It usually okay. takes two times. The second time around, everybody gets more acclimated at that point. Well, it, took, it, well, it took us like the first month not it to have It took us a while. Uh, Technical difficulties. Wow. I broke my cherry, so I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> we got my man Charles in the house from Choice Fine Collectibles, Choice Fine Art. What's up, Charles? What's, what's going on, everybody? Good to be back. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, man. Glad to have you here. And my brother's in the house. I knew he was going to get here at some point. John, what's good, man? Hey, man. I, I like to get in right at the end of it, bro. Right at the end. I was about to, that's why I waited. I waited. Yeah. I, you know, I just got to sneak in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, How you guys doing, guys? Everybody? Good. 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 What's up, John? Junior. Yo, my man. My man, dude, you know how I go. Mm. And my yeah, good to see you, brother. Team, fanatic, we got. <laughs> <You're presenting. laughs> uh, Me and Junior representing DC today. That's I right. Like you I got like the it. Batman. I got the Superman shirt. Mm -hmm. that's, that's dope. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. All right. Oh, go to the kryptonite. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get into all the craziness, some things that are coming up this week. We are on the last week of the 10,000K subscriber giveaway. We're going to pick our winners this Sunday. You know, and then next week on Monday, we'll let you guys know who won the Wolverine Premium Format statue. We got a Wolverine Funko Pop. We got two, uh, um, man, we got a lot. There's, there's like eight, right? Eight? Seven. 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 My bad. Yeah, it's seven. a lot of giveaways. There's a lot of giveaways. There's more than yeah, I can remember. Yeah, I got to go back and look at the list. We got the Wolverine pre Premium Format. We got the Wolverine Funko Pop. Right. We've We've got the uh, Iron, uh, Marvel Legends Iron Man figure. Right. We've got the uh, the, the first form uh, Link. We got the Thanos. We got the Iron Studios Thanos. Thanos. And we've got two Diamond Gallery Select statues. True. What? There we go. There we go. The whole smorgasbord. All right. Yeah, it's a lot. <clears throat> and then bigger than that, bigger news than that. Next week is my brother's birthday, so Ooh. we got to celebrate that one big too. You. Know, so that's gonna be happy dope. birthday. Big hey, happy birthday. Man. Thank you, man. John, what are you? 22, 23? What are, what are we what are we rocking this year? I am 36 this this uh coming Wednesday, bro. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, I man. just I just celebrated mine, so I got you. Congrats, beat. bro. Happy birthday. Thanks. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you. 
Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Nice. What, George, we're not going to do, we, we don't have a, a geek show next Monday? Well, we do have a geek show next Monday. I'm just telling people that this was going to go down next week. Next getting, week's your birthday. Getting, getting people getting hyped involved. up for your birthday, bro. That's important. Yeah. It's an important thing. The MCE Gambit is going to be turning 36. I it's going to find out some about 36-year-old pains. I know, man. Back out me. Start waking up with some old man old man pains, bro. Uh -oh. Dude, don't uh -oh. even jinx me, bro. I got, I got like everything you, you got I ended up catching. <laughs> we'll start calling him an old man producer. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's inevitable. Right. You just got to go with it. You just got to go with it. I'm on it. <laughs> All right, Seth, why don't you run down who's in the chat, bro? All right, so for the 76 people that are watching right now, I don't understand why we only have 15 thumbs up, but I do understand why we have six, six, uh, six thumbs down because of all the fucking haters out there. We got six and thumbs down already? We got six thumbs down, and you know what? They can all go fuck themselves. So let's go ahead and run down this, run down this list right now. So we've got Chris Verde, Dark Mustafa, Diego Hernandez. We've got Aragon. we got the... Uh, who else we got? Uh, Dark Mufasa. We got Jesse Hernandez. We got Barbara Lopez. We got my man Skills Freak. Danny Herrera. Danny Herrera. Uh, Danny Ferreira. Sorry. Excuse me. We got Josue. Who else do we got? We got Greg. We got Pinche. We got Vic. Sexual Chocolate is back. Hide your wives. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many things I can say right now, but I won't. We got, we got Blah. We got Raphael. Who else? We got the Nightmare. We got Mashari. We got Area 51. 76 in the chat. We got nice. Boxing Jackalope. Thank you. We got Bruce. We got Candyman. We got Century. We got OG Geek. We got Captain Picard. Make it so. <laughs> Let's see who else we got. We got Extreme Collectibles. We got Archangel. We got Spider Man. We got Emerald. We got Travis. We got Infamous. We got Roy. I need Roy. <laughs> Chris, and we got Gabriel Gutierrez, and guys, I think we are all cut up. Again, okay. thank you to the 83 that are watching. Again, 83 people mm -hmm. watching. Why aren't there more thumbs up? Please, on, guys. People. We got to counteract those six Come people on. decided to give us a thumbs down. Hit the like button. Sure. Hit I subscribe. I don't people, bro. I appreciate haters just as much as the love, bro. I guess. <laughs> Chris, it means they're watching. That right? anyway. I don't like seeing that percentage down like that. Uh, it means they're watching. It does. They're they're watching. Watching. Or they're, they're just jumping in to give us a thumbs down here, like bro. some. Yeah, jokes. and they're probably the Sasha you? fanatics. Chris, uh, Chris, Ver Chris Verde is saying, Seth, I got you something when I see you at Comic Con. Oh. Oh, well. <coughs> unfor unfortunately, I will not be at Comic Con. I will be at New York Comic Con. I think that's I'll what Chris at, Verde means. I'll be at. I'll be at Florida SuperCon. Yeah, Chris Verde's in New York, man. He's going to be at New York Comic Con. Oh, he's going to be in New York. Oh, yeah. sweet. Okay, great. Even better. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, we got what? We got JB with Discovery Bay. Hey. Uh, uh, All right. What's up, JB? Yeah. Well, hopefully I get to see you guys. I'll, I'll be out there from the 16th to the 30th. I'd love to meet up with you all. I think I probably will. Even what, if you want to New York. Good stuff. No, no I'm San Diego. San Diego. Oh, I'm, gonna yeah. be, I'm gonna be in LA wow. visiting my mother in law, but that's only two hours away. So no, I mean, also, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, Jason, definitely. I mean, I, I'm, I know we're gonna be running a car, and I got she got family that's about uh, about an hour south of, of Los Angeles. So if anything, you know, we could link up that way. I could, I could meet you halfway, so you don't gotta drive all the way down to San Diego. But hey, you know what? That's great, man. We could do that too. Either way, yeah. either that's way. Right. That's like three hours, I think, from from uh, from Los no. Angeles, or two hours. About a couple hours, about an hour and forty minutes. Hour and forty minutes. Hour and oh, forty-five minutes. That's not that bad. Okay. Why, that's not why bad. is uh, why, why is Vic saying Supercon is below me? Supercon's not below me. No, no Supercon is awesome. I'll be there. Shake me out at Supercon. I'll be there Sunday night. Come <laughs> be there. That, technically, it's in, it's in Miami, so it's south of us. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> 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 All right, man. Chad, why don't you break it down for us? Let's go to Chad's Comic Corner. What's up, bro? Yeah. All right, guys. So this week, Chad's Comic Corner. We got three books I'm going to talk about, and then I'll show you some books that I picked up. But first off, we're going to go ahead and kick it off. My DC pick of last week, which was Detective Comics 1006. We still have Tomasi writing Detective. I'm still loving everything he's doing. He's starting a new arc right now, which is pretty cool. Pretty much bringing in Spectre, so a character and villain that we haven't really seen in a long time. I thought it was cool how he used him in this book. I can't really tell you if, I mean, of course I think he's the villain, but of course he's trying to pose himself kind of as someone trying to help Batman. But if you want to check out what I mean, go read it. It's pretty cool. Uh, 
there's definitely something up with Spectre and what he's trying to do in Gotham. So go check that out. And I did not have an indie book from last week, but I do have two Marvel books that I want to talk about, and they're both kind of related. And the first one is Thor issue 14. So this right here is pretty much what I would recommend if you have not read War of the Realms issue 6 yet, which is the finale of War of the Realms. This is a little like pre, you know, cursor into it. Cool book. Definitely go check it out. You get a little scene in here where you got all the Thors meeting up at one point in time to kind of like discuss a plan to take out a certain villain. And that villain is, I guess, I could, yeah, is Malekith. It's the main villain in War of the Realms, and everyone knows that at this point. But Malekith has somehow taken over Venom, and he uses Venom in a very cool way. And this is where the Thors, like all of them, literally, all the Thors meet up to discuss how they're going to defeat him. And it kind of takes off here, and then that will lead me into the next book, which I want to talk about, which is War of the Realms, issue number six, where it all finally concludes Jason Aaron killing it and as we all know he soon will be off thor i do believe once he uh, as he just concluded this issue and he's doing a couple more things on actual thor he's doing a a run called king thor and if i'm not mistaken after that he is coming off of thor now call me crazy something i would speculate on i know someone that looks up to jason aaron a lot he said it many times in interviews and this person now has actually taken over the entire cosmic cos comic book, you know, universe. And that's Donny Cates. I would not be surprised to see Donny Cates take over Thor. I did not read that anywhere. I'm just specking on that. I know some people, you know, I've said that a couple of times. Like, yo, where did you read that? I'm not saying anywhere has that written down. I'm just saying that's something I would like to see and something that I could see happening because Thor being the cosmic you know, character that he is. But back to it, War, War of the Realms issue 6. Awesome conclusion. You finally get to see Malekith and his giant, you know, dark elf army and the other armies that he's gathered go at it with Thor. All the other Thors that I mentioned that have led up into this and you can kind of see what their plan was in that issue before and then how it all goes down in this issue I love War of the Realms. Not everyone in the comic book industry or in the comic book community loved it, so to speak. They thought it was okay. Some people loved it, and I think you had to be kind of a Thor Jason Aarons fan because he kind of tied a lot of his whole Thor run into it, and that was my favorite part of this event from Marvel. So go check it out if you haven't yet. Super, super cool stuff. And then that will lead me to just to some stuff I found last week out in the wild. Uh, first thing is... I know some of you guys do know I'm specking on that Carnage Born. This is that first appearance of the Carnage in the Null Codex when he fuses with it. And this will be leading to that entire absolute Carnage event that Donny Cates is doing. So this is a variant that I did not have. So when I saw that, I definitely picked it up. Uh, another book that I found was a different variant of Silver Surfer issue number one or black number one. Once again, another book I'm specking on. Didn't have the variant, taking it. And then this book is actually the second print, and I found another issue copy of it. This book is actually you've seen a spike already in the market. Uh, aftermarket, it's going for like twenty-five to thirty dollars already, and it's the second print of Silver Surfer Black, issue one. And then something cool I found as well. Everyone loves themselves some Alex Ross, so this is an older Alex Ross cover. And I'm pretty sure it inspired this Alex Ross cover that just recently came out by the Immortal Hulk. So just something kind of cool to add to the collection because I love myself some Alex Ross. And then last but not least, I found this awesome slab at a great price at Phil's Comics up in Margate. This nice. is Amazing Spider-Man 797, the Del Auto oh, variant. Yeah. This is actually a convention variant. I like the way he draws Spider-Man, man. Those wow. eyes. I don't Absolutely. know. Those eyes look so, dope. Yeah, man. No, Del Auto killed this, and this is you know exclusive to I want to say probably like three thousand copies or something like that. But I know it's a convention variant of seven ninety seven. So I know there's like an appearance of the Red Goblin somewhere in this, but it's a cool book to have. Got it at a great price yeah. at Phil's Comics and Margate. If you're ever down there, check them out. Some super cool stuff. 
Yeah, that place is like right around. Yeah, that place is right around the corner from my house. Yeah, man, it's cool stuff in there, man. Always, and it's just a comic. Does he have, does he have pops in there or only comics? No, it, that's the best part. It's strictly comics. There's nothing else. How is that the best part? What kind of shit is that? Yeah, that's the best part. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true comic shop, as it should, be, you know. And then the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about, just a little spec. I did see a, a recent, I guess, cover getting ready to come out for Immortal Hulk, and it did look like our guy, the Red Hulk, Mister Ross, will be coming back. So I would tell you right now, go pick up this book. It's somewhere anywhere on the low end, probably to like fifteen dollars on the high end, thirty. But before he comes back on Immortal Hulk, you want to hop on that. And with all the Hulk spec and talk, I do know that show Thunderbolts is coming out, and you want to get your Incredible Hulk's four forty nine because that is the first appearance of Thunderbolts. So before they start casting and all that type of stuff, get on this because this will be the next hot book. And that was Chad's comics corner. Nice. <laughs> All right, man. I got something. I got a question though, man. Before we get before we move on from Chad's comic corner, so I I heard today that they're gonna be having a, a Sandman TV show. I think it's based yeah. on a comic. Yeah. Well, it looked Any like information Netflix, on that. Yeah, it looked like Netflix. I guess picked up the rights to you know start you know producing a Sandman TV show. And if there's any, I guess company that you would want to pick up like your comic book type of you know shows mm -hmm. it's netflix because they're definitely going to get it made in that sense you know and sam it's you know one of the best dc slash vertigo like runs that they've ever had and i would definitely highly recommend it go check that out if you have not read it okay neil gaiman yeah i was thinking just about buying beat, the... it through, beat me to it okay. uh but yeah, great read, and I'm sure that's going to be an awesome show, especially if Netflix is taking it over. And I did read that the other day as well. So okay. hopefully we see more on that. Cool. Hey, cool. Chad. Um, no, definitely. What were you, what were you saying uh, just before when you put up the Red Hulk cover? You were saying something with Alex Ross, but isn't that a McGinnis cover? Or is there something going oh, on? Oh, no, with it, that's a McGinnis cover. Just the one before, I had found this Alex Ross cover. Right. And then uh, there's an Immortal Hulk book that just recently came out. Yeah, it's right for me. I thought, like, I'm pretty sure yeah. that's the inspiration to it. So I was just, yeah. like, stoked to find this cover because I love myself. It's hard. It, it's, that's not very easy to find. Oh, like, yeah, I guess not. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just go out and hunt. So something, <laughs> you know, wow, certain things I know. Something with this channel that everybody goes out hunting. Seth, are you rubbing <laughs> off on him? <laughs> hey, I, I was hunting hey, before. Just, he knows that. I'm just yeah, yeah. Chad's all about hunting, hunting the comics. I mean, you know, me and Chad are all about hitting the stores, where the rest of you guys are just all about sitting in front of your PCs. So. Hey, uh, hey, hey, no, hey, 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 why are you gonna cast him with shade, bro? Now that does not mean I have not I bought mean, things damn. off of eBay. I'm actually, I was supposed to have actually have a package come in today. It was two slabs. That I was hoping to have to show off, but it has not come in. But I do buy some things on the internet. But my favorite thing of, I guess, comic book collecting is the hunt. Because when there's no better feeling like when you have, you know, every comic book collector, they have a list, you know, and the list changes as you find things and cross it off. You add things to it and stuff like that. But there's nothing better when you're flipping through a box and you find one of those things. That's just the best part of hunting. Well, George, George, do you think he may change his tune tonight when you show him a, a new secret something? I think he may change his tune. Hey, man, well, I, I feel like if we're going to talk about it right now, we should just show it, man. You want to let him, want him see it? It's all on you, man. This is this is your show. I'm just along for the ride. Thank you. All right, do it. <laughs> yeah, but do this, it. Is, it says, this is your piece, man. You gotta, you're going to have to talk, bro. So you, you let him know what Not the details problem. are on this one. So check, check this out, Chad. Everybody. Not a problem, guys. So what we were doing at Choice Fine Art is obviously – this year is a big year for Batman. Anybody who's a Batman fan, this is a big anniversary. So what we wanted to do is we do a lot of work. Uh, obviously, if you know me and you, you've seen me on the show before, we're Marvel. We have the Marvel license. So what we do is our counterpart, uh, Clampett Studios, Ruth and the owner of my company go back a long, long way. Like they are very, very, very good friends. So when we come out with an exclusive of Marvel, she tends to come out with an exclusive for DC. So since it was the anniversary, what we did was we went with her and said, we've got to come out with something good, something different for San Diego Comic-Con because not only do you have Batman anniversary, but it's Comic-Con's anniversary. It's like everybody's anniversary. So what we did was we took it upon ourselves to 
pick our favorite images. And this was one of the ones that I actually picked. Classic, classic Jim Lee. It's going to be very, very limited. Okay, there's only going to be a hundred copies of this. It's going to be a Jaclay on canvas. It's going to measure 30 by 20, and it's going to be signed by the man himself. Um, iconic, iconic. I mean, Chad, you could talk about the comic. You you can give yeah. me your spin on the comic. Let so, everybody know your thoughts. I will say this. So this was Batman issue 50, the whole wedding between Batman and Catwoman. I will say this. This cover was on my pull list when this book came out. So this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful piece. Even if you got the sketch variant, shout out to you for anyone out there. But wow, super, super awesome. And to get this signed by Jim Lee, that is phenomenal. That I can't even put words to that. And yeah. once again, yeah. iconic, iconic person in the comic book industry. By far, on my route, Mount Rushmore of comic book artists, for sure. I mean, he's, he's one that very much started it. I mean, again, Chad, you could talk on the comic side. As far as the art side to us, we wanted to do something that was just going to... When people come in our booth at San Diego Comic-Con, now, George, you, Junior, you've been in our booth. A bunch of you guys have been in our booth. When you come to Choice Fine Art, you're seeing... Yes, the upper echelon of artwork out there that's available, but we, we carry a little bit of everything. We picked this one because it's a good median piece, and, I mean, you don't get much more iconic. I mean, to me, when I saw it on the comic cover, I'm like, I said to the owner of my company, I go, I know we don't have the DC license, but we got to do something with this image. We've got to do something, and this is what we came out with. I'm going to give you a little teaser also. We're coming out with another another piece as well. But this is going to be our first release. Um, you may see the other one soon. Uh, that's all I could tell you. But to me, this just screams Jim Lee, iconic. Chad, again, back me up here, brother. One of the most poignant times in the DC universe as far as the wedding and, and all that stuff. So I hope you guys like it. You, are, you and everybody that is watching this show right now, you are the first to see it. It hasn't even dropped yet. It is not dropping until tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. But if anybody is interested, hit me up on a PM. Let me know. Again, it's going to be a limited edition of only 100, and it's going to be 995 framed. Okay? Okay. Okay. Gracias. Yeah. $9.95? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's the yeah, price of a pie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then. And then and then he, 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 awesome. he does collect props, guys. No, he did not. <laughs> no. yeah. It's all guy loves Seth, and he knows I love him. <laughs> so this will be on display at San Diego, right? Absolutely. This will be front and center at San Diego. Um, but we are going to start taking orders tomorrow, Okay. Um, if anybody is interested in this piece, I'm telling you right now, this is not a pitch. I'm not trying to sell you on anything. If you're interested in this piece, get it now. Okay. If you want to wait for San Diego, we will have it there. But by the time we get to San Diego, I can't tell you how many are going to be left. True. You get it. You got a link for us. Uh, um, I can, I can give, I think we're putting it up on our website tomorrow. Uh, George, what I'll do is I'll get with our uh, website guru, and uh, once I get that link, I'll shoot it to you. Sounds good. Sounds good. But uh, thank you, thank you very much for letting me show that, guys. It's uh, you know I I feel very close to MCE, and I wanted uh, wanted MCE to have a little exclusive uh, for all my brothers. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, uh, well, uh, that is sick. George, that did you sick. like wear that shirt because uh, uh, you knew about that? or, or... This was subconsciously. <laughs> yeah, no. This was, well, I, no, I put on the shirt before I, I, I came down. In fact, Charles contacted me. Um, <laughs> Literally before, right before the show. Yeah, yeah and he's like, hey, do you want to see a, an exclusive card piece? I was like, hell yeah. And George said, hey, let me go change my shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, no, we're going to get a shirt change. <laughs> I literally, I literally, got, <laughs> I literally got the email. And as soon as the email came through, I didn't even I didn't even hit up my boss. I just said, "Do you want the exclusive?" And I'm like, "Oh shit, maybe I should find out if I'm allowed to." Yeah. <laughs> you know, ask for forgiveness, not permission. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's true. He didn't care. He's like, "Go for it." He goes, "Let them all see it." 
That's Fate, awesome. Fate's uh, Fate's asking me to hook him up. Yo, Fate, let's split it. You can you can borrow it for like half a year. I borrow it for half a year. It's like a moving piece, bro. <laughs> 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 well, isn't that what the community is all about? Sharing? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, we live close enough. So, that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, so thank you. Um, now we've got 112 people watching right now. So nice. thank you to the 112 That's people awesome. that are in the chat. So uh, Spider Man comes out this week. Who's got tickets? Not, Not me. Crickets. I don't. I don't. I, I mean, don't have tickets, but I will see it. Maybe. I don't have tickets, but I will see it as well. I'll probably Maybe, go. Yeah. That's how I feel too. I don't know about you all, but but I feel like. Um, like not super excited for the movie for whatever reason. I'm mean, that's not like, like really like Me yeah neither. like I'm, I had Me like neither. I didn't even realize it was coming out. That's what I'm saying. I mean yeah. I, I, when I saw the trailers I thought they looked cool, but I last week I just was like 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 hit with like this shock. You know, it was like the, you know I saw a commercial. I was like, hey, it's coming out. You know, next week. I was like, shit. It's like I'm you know, trying to I'm trying to put this together. I watch uh, Discovery Channel and uh, one of the shows that I watch is Naked and Afraid. Uh -huh. I'm not understanding why Naked and Afraid is promoting Spider Man so much. It's crazy. <laughs> I just have to put it together. Maybe you guys know. Well, maybe some point in the movie he's naked and afraid. <laughs> No, are you, no, are you watching on cable? Oh or my God. I mean, he is far from home, guys. Well, there you go. <laughs> Calvin, Calvin, you watching on cable or the internet? <laughs> on cable TV, man. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just checking because if you're streaming it, man, then you know you're gonna get fed fed commercials probably based on your what you look at. <laughs> no, on TV, no nah, actual advertisement, man. They're they're advertising it. Hey. Je uh, Jesse uh, Jesse Hernandez is saying I have my tickets to Sexual Chocolates Gun Show. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, Let's see uh, uh, Pop culture fate. No, unfortunately, I did not score that E or I do not do the Disney. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. you do not do the Disney. The Disney. Yeah, I don't do Disney pops. Unfortunately. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm definitely gonna see it though. As far as I gotta, I gotta watch all the MCU movies, but yeah, I just Street haven't been like super pumped about it like I was for. Well, I wasn't that way about Captain Marvel either, but you know, Endgame. So I don't know. It's funny. I, I watched. I, I rented Captain Marvel, and I ended up, you know, like you know, it is. You know, when you watch it in theaters, you spend that theater money. You're a little more critical on it. Mm -hmm. When you watch it after the fact, you start just enjoying it for entertainment value a little more. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it twice too. I don't like it. <laughs> I still feel like she had like no part in, in Endgame, but that's yeah. Just, also, I still, uh, I still say, uh, I still say, uh, Seth. I still, I know you want that glitter pop, that Eeyore pop. Come on, man. I know you. No, nah, dude. No, nah, yes, man. It's dude, glitter. Dude. The glitter pop. The glitter pops are the freaking worst. It's a glitter pop. <laughs> the they glitter still have goes glitter pops? everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. That's why I don't do the glitter. Nor do I do the Disney ones. I know. I know. Huh. <laughs> I don't want to feel like I opened up a box because, because honestly, and I'm sure this has happened to some people that collect. The glitter ones, they open them up, they take them out of the box. Next thing you know, they're, they're covered in glitter. Their significant oh, other God. walks in the door and they're like, hey, where have you been? <laughs> you know, hey, I'm just saying. Pops. <laughs> so, just saying. <laughs> they're really convincing, guys. Uh, I'm being, Beach is asking me if I ordered a $65 Han Solo Pop. There's a $65 Han Solo Pop? Yeah. Really? No, that's a no. I didn't order that. Um, yeah, I did see. That's the Han Solo. That's the Amazon exclusive with the uh, when he's on the Millennium Falcon. Oh, okay, right. okay, okay. I I um I saw the some of the San Diego Comic Con exclusives. The there's a there's two Batman's right. You got a you got a, a Chrome a one. Batman, yeah, there's a Batman that is strictly exclusive to the con itself. It's him holding a um a San Diego Comic Con shopping bag. Mm -hmm. And the other one, which is a GameStop uh, shared shared exclusive from GameStop, it's Chrome. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I personally like the one him holding the uh, the so bag. Batman. We got so you Batman. have to get tickets to get in line to get a chance to get that one at the con, right? Well, it's a lottery. Once, once yeah, you, you have, yeah, you gotta have tickets to get in. Yeah, it's a lottery. So, oh. yeah. I thought some of them were pretty dope. Um. That being said, uh, we can talk about the first topic of tonight. Uh, when we get, you know, Seth, like he says, we sit in front of the computer and we do pre-orders. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about that model about pre-orders. What do you? Can't, first of all, you're speaking the truth. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, first of all, when it comes to pre-orders, uh, how do you guys feel about the whole thing with um, 
what do you call it, pre-ordering on the first day? Do you think it's something that we should do, you know, or, or is it just um, pointless? What do you all think? For the, the, who wants to, whoever wants to answer first, go ahead. I mean, the only, the only thing I ever truly pre-ordered was the, um, and I can't, I don't get it until next, I don't get it until next year, was the um, San Diego, was not the San Diego, I don't get it until next year, was the um, Hot Toys uh, Captain America from Endgame. Hmm. You know, that's the only thing I pre-ordered. Um, I mean, it's great that, that I could, you know, that I could pre-order it. I think I only had to put down like 20, like 27 bucks. And then next year I make like four payments of like fifty dollars or something. Right, but that, that's not the question, bro. The que the question set is: Do you think it's a waste of time pre-ordering day one? That that's that's the. No, that's I don't think question. so. If you want something bad enough, go out and get it. What do you got? Do you guys feel the same way? Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, if you want it, I would tell you just someone that's worked in retail mo like pretty much all of my life actually sorry and just being able to pre-order like if you know you wanted something and there's a chance for you to pre-order it in most places like it doesn't really cost you extra to pre-order it you're just putting a down payment towards the price of it so why right. wouldn't you do it but with, you know? when it comes video games and and uh, collectibles are a little bit different when it comes to pre-ordering in in yeah. the case of pre-ordering a uh, collectible you put money on it's a non-refundable deposit. If you pre-order a video game, you can get your money back if you decide you don't want to play you don't want to play that video game anymore. Yeah, so, you, can't compare, you can't compare you can't compare that though. Well, no, it's that that's not yeah, but I'll just answer what <laughs> Chad was saying there is like to get thank anything you, that comes thank, up. Thank you, Cap Captain Pop, for the ten dollar super chat. Thanks, brother. Smash that like button. Thank everybody. you. Thank you, we, Captain we. Pop. My man, Captain Pop. hundred and twenty five people in the chat, by the way. Nice. I'm I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work something up right now with my man Captain Pop because he's over on the uh, West Coast. So we're trying okay. to do something where me and him can meet up and do a hunt together. Okay. Yeah, right. you can come to San Diego. <laughs> no, he's on the West Coast of Florida. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, to me, is company. Yeah. Depending on the company. Depending on the company, you think it's worth it. Depending on the company. Depending on the company, depending what company has my trust at this moment. Okay. That's how I feel about it. You know. Uh, you know. Uh, Prime One has my trust at this moment. So I don't mind ordering from them whatsoever. Uh, you know, just the way that I feel about it. I used to, when companies are having problems, kind of like, kind of, I'm a person that I kind of like back off for a little bit, and then I just wait for uh, people to get it and so, review it, and then I'll buy it. Uh, that's how I feel right now. So you know, Prime, if Prime One goes on the same the same road, I'll be doing the same thing with them. I'm just you know, you just want to make sure you get your money for. It. You know. So some people were also talking about how um, if it's um, you know exclusive compared to the um, you know the quantity that they make of it. Right. So I mean, if they're only making something that's like you know a thousand to like five hundred pieces, then yeah, you bet your ass everybody's gonna gonna jump on it. But I mean, if it's just a regular piece that has a large edition size, then yeah, I'm sure people are gonna take their sweet time. So it's dependent you know? on the piece then. So, so I, I I read the question totally differently when I saw, when I first saw it on your topics <laughs> what's up um yeah i take it as like like i don't like i don't really care for the pre-order model as a whole i think that uh and i think that the concept of you know having to pay for something and then wait a whole year before you you get it is you know it kind of makes you guys pot committed but you know it really sucks that you know you put your you put your money into something and then you, know, you got to wait a year and if anything goes bad that you you know, don't want to you lose that that uh, that um, uh, pre-order amount. So I think the the whole model goes to the benefit of the manufacturer. So you know, I like you know to see some of these new manufacturers coming out there, like House of Gogs, who doesn't believe in that model. That is putting that is having their products ready for when they put the order up. You're pretty much ordering what you're you're getting in a you're, you're more ordering your product, not pre-ordering it. I think the benefit in the pre-order model the benefit goes solely towards the um, the, the manufacturers, um, you know, not really towards the consumer, regardless of it's a day one pre-order or. Well, I can kind of I can kind of see your point on that, John, because especially like uh, other people are saying too, like um, Digi uh, Digi Brothers is saying no P uh, no to PO before edition size is announced for statues. It helps limit the amount yeah. of statues produced. So I agree. So I agree with you on that, John. So some people shouldn't announce. You know, some people, you know, some, you know, um, uh, I'm losing my train of thought for a second. Hold on. So with the PO, with the POs, um, they, before they, do they ever do that 
Like, do they announce the addition size ahead of time, or do they wait? Not always. They, see, that's, 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 back in the back in the day, they, they, they used to. Right. Back yeah, in the day, that is were, that's the way they used to do it. Yeah. So 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 now they want now the the if they put out like a Spider Man statue and it gets flooded with POs, then they bump up the addition size, and then mm -hmm. it's like, what the hell's the point? Right. You, know, that, you that, thought that, you were getting that. something that was going to be solely exclusive to a limited to a limited quantity. And then now, and now, you know, you you have basically the same thing as everyone else, and it kind of it kind of takes away it takes away the warm and fuzzies. You know, you don't get the special feeling like, hey, I'm only one of one a thousand people to have this statue. That's right. that's you know? one way too to look at it, also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. If you're, if you're patient, if you're patient, I'll say, wait. You know who's really good at that? Darth Castle, Thor Gunnarsson. Oh, Don't wait two or three years for a piece before he gets something. He's told me that, and I can't. I, I order on impulse. I just can't. I have to get it right away. But he can do that. He'll wait patiently for two years before he gets the piece. It's crazy. Crazy, yeah. But I, I man, I, I, I understand that though, because I, when I see that, and and uh, um, you know, like, and, and especially if you if you look into the the custom market, it's even more risky when it comes oh, yeah. to the to those to the pre order model. Um, so so yeah. So big up to House of Gods for for. Uh, for trying to change that model out. <laughs> I just, my, my feeling, my feeling, George, with statue collecting today, I don't really think we we actually really need to pre-order anything that early anymore. I mean, all all due respect to Junior, I love your setup and everything is great. I, I love the fact that you got to have it right now. But going back to what we were just talking about, you know, back in the day with this guy behind me over here, you know, when Randy came out with his stuff, it was, I'm making 1,500 statues, and that's it. That's what's coming out, and you kind of could go either way with that. Now, on the flip side, I missed the boat on this one above my head and had to wait like Thor. I, I, I respect Thor. I love Thor. He's the man. But, uh, you know, I had to wait like three, four years until I got an opportunity with that. They get to catch 22. I hear it from both sides that if you want something that that bad, go pre-order it. You know, do do your thing. The, with how much product is out there today, I don't know if we really need to anymore. Mm -hmm. I agree with you on that. I think that's 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 where I stand. I think there was a time when things were so limited and you wanted to get in on it and get it, but now there's just so many choices out there. If you if you want a Batman, you got to not only decide if you're going to pre-order the Batman, which Batman are you going to pre-order because there's so many that are coming out. The only model that I like when it comes to pre-ordering is made to order. If it's going to be where they're just going to make only what's been ordered, mm -hmm. then yeah. But just to blindly pre-order something, I just don't feel a need. I don't have that desire to do that anymore. And I used to. I used to definitely try and pre-order everything I wanted as soon as it went up. But I don't do that at all. Calvin, Calvin, you found your sweet spot already, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I stopped, I stopped doing that. I stopped ordering like that, too. I, like I said, to me, um, if I like something and it's a company that's going to show me a uh, a prototype and give me the same thing as a production piece, then that's something that I will pre-order because I know what I'm going to get. It's the same thing, but uh, so what you're you know. saying is you feel yeah, like and, I'm doing and, that and sense. To me, with technology, that, going, going to what uh, John was talking about, I want to add to that. With technology now, it doesn't make sense to me that it takes that long for pieces to come out, considering how efficient things have gotten, production quality, uh, technology. I mean, we've gone from hand sculpting to digital sculpting. And yet, it still takes that long to get a piece to you. Yep. Well, I think it's more because of the amount of uh, pieces being created and the amount of production houses out there. I think that's probably what, what's happening at the moment. I, it, that makes sense. It's you still know. a year. It's crazy to me. It is. Uh, you know, you're waiting a uh, year. It's sometimes more depending on the company. And then, like in Junior, what Junior's uh, point there is, is that um, you don't really know what you're going to get at the end. You pre order based mostly on a uh, digital um, a digital print of something which always mm -hmm. looks really cool uh, so you got a digital print and then either that or you got a prototype that's painted by a master painter who makes the thing look like you know immaculate and then you get a year later you find out that it's completely different and now oh. you have you could be out that money well look at Psylocke I mean how many times did they change her sculpt 
Right. Yeah, that, and, that's, and that's, that's what, what, I'm, that's what I'm gonna, that, Yeah, that's what we get into. You know, it's just you know the trust that you build with a company at the beginning, and you trust the company for a long time, and then everything just starts falling apart. No. And that makes you want to take yourself away from from being that guy that used to pre-order at first when you know the the company was giving you and, what you were asking for. And can't that, and can a company like have you a know? licensing issues right in the middle of it? And they can't have. Totally they, the piece? they can't do that. And then, but then again, in, in those cases, at least. Most of them will give you your money back. I have seen some companies like uh, like First for Figures that they'll take a pre-order. You do your pre-order in. But if they change something drastically enough, like if they take and make something look completely different, they'll give you your money back if you if uh, if you don't like the piece and give you the opportunity to get out of it. You know, so really the real issue is that the pre-order is that non-refundable deposit, right? Yep, yep. Uh, I lost a lot of money with, with uh, non-refundable deposits because I didn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> See, and, and that's the other thing that is, that is the other thing that makes it like you just I don't, don't want to do so. that because you can't get the money back and no I don't care I don't care I'd rather, I'd rather lose $52 or $60 than trying to buy a $1200 piece that is not shown to me as it was promised so I'd rather lose 52 bucks than lose $1000 on a piece that's like six bucks. That's like six bucks. Yeah. Yeah. The reality, the reality, I would think though, also would be the the when it comes to, like, I would assume like back back in the day when the edition sizes were smaller, it was more important to to jump in on these POs because you might not have an opportunity to get the piece after the fact, and then you're going to be paying, you know, whatever premium you're going to pay. But now because those edition sizes are so so uh, um, much higher. You know, they don't sell out as fast, so you don't have to, you know, jump in right away. That's one thing I like about Prime One. You know, Prime One has a lot of low edition size on all their pieces, so I love that about. Yeah, them. but lately they're not doing that, Junior. Lately they've been they've been putting out pieces and not putting their edition size on it. So mm -hmm. that's that's been new. yeah. Where is George? I, I yeah, know. when you when you look yeah, I, and and basically when you get the piece after you get the piece, they still when even though they don't put the edition size, when you look at it, they're like five hundred, seven hundred and fifty. Yeah. Most. Wait, what pieces are you talking about like that, George? I didn't know that. The the latest uh, Super Suns piece, when I went to order it, they didn't have the uh, the edition size on it. So, I mean, I ordered it, but... <laughs> it's it going to be low. I, I, I wanted low. that piece. And I'm sure it's going to be low. But I think it's this is probably low. similar to what they, they do with, uh, mm -hmm. with XM Studios, or it's just that they're just so big that you're not going to get a lot of people that are going to order those to begin with because of the space. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, mm -hmm. But still... Uh, congrats yeah. congrats on the piece don't like thank yeah. you congrats on the piece dude but i don't like uh um not knowing i i, I prefer that if you're if i'm gonna pre-order something that at least i know what the what the edition size is so i agree i agree with you George. i, I think it, it's something that we're dealing with a lot now with, with the majority of the companies is that they're asking us to put up this bread and then you come to find out later on oh we're putting out uh, three thousand statues Okay, but this thing is still costing me twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. You know, where where is the give and take here? You know, if <clears throat> excuse me, if you're gonna charge me twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars, let's let's limit it a little bit, make it to a thousand, this way there's collectability in it and up the ante a little bit. But business is business. It is what it is. Of course. You just gotta make you gotta make the decision. <clears throat> which way you're going to go. And and John, I, I can't think back to what you were saying. I, back in the day, we didn't have that. They released the statue. They told you how many it was going to be. This was going to be the price, and that was it. Now I'm dating myself, but mm. going, going way back, that's, <laughs> with you, man. that's the way it used to be. Calvin, you got it. You I'm with you. I mean, that's the way it was. And then ultimately it came across through Sideshow and, and then – with the bigger the bigger scale, the one third statue. Once once one third took off, it was all that. It was all PO. It was all pre ordering. So we know how many of these we gotta make. And is it right? I, I don't think so. But I just, I just wish know, they wouldn't announce statues until they were almost ready to ship. Absolutely. Yes, that that's what I think, Calvin. Hundred percent. I I gotta agree with my man, Captain Pop, in the chat. He says, "I'll just stick to pops." <laughs> <laughs> you guys I mean, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean, Calvin? You mean like ready to ship? Like how? how right. So when they announced that statue, okay. it's only two months out from shipping because production has started. Everything has started. 
And when you put your money down, you can be, you know, you can feel good that, you know, within the next 90 days or so, or the next four months, you're going to get a statue. Mm -hmm. But the whole pre-order process, man, I mean, I'm not going to say company names, but I mean, you got companies that are constantly announcing figures and yet haven't even shipped things yet. And then they're coming up with new ones and new ones and new ones. And still people are still waiting for stuff. It's just, mm -hmm. that's just too mm -hmm. long. PCS. PCS. I'm still I'm not on. saying any names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, right. You're always trying to be politically correct, man. Just go for the gold. No. <laughs> I know not to burn bridges, man. Tell us how you feel. How are you burning bridges? It's not like you have sponsorships with anybody. Just go out and say it. That's points. Got points. Got a point. But Jason's right, though, with the PCS. I just heard somebody got or, or finally received their, uh, their payment notification for a Sub Zero statue that I looked at close to three years ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, I'm still crazy. waiting for my PCS Judge Dread Cursed Earth exclusive. Maybe well, I will, I'll say this: I have a PCS piece on order too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get a problem. I'll just say that. That's awesome, Calvin. Now, now you, you're definitely showing your age along with me. I get it. <laughs> uh, it's it's harder for me to really relate because that's why I have a pull list and. The, that's exactly what like my pull list is to a comic book shop. Like that's telling them what the what to order, so they know how many copies of a comic book to order. Yeah. So sure. I know, oh, cool. you know, it's it's harder for me to really relate to this topic. I guess the only other way I could relate to it possibly would you know if it'd be like a variant, like a one in twenty five, one in fifty, one in one hundred, because that would be harder for a comic book shop to get to everyone because everyone would want that. So there might be like a different way. To like go about finding those but man i haven't pre-ordered something i guess outside of like a comic book in like years so i'm so sorry for you guys having people in the chat <laughs> Just just remember if you pre order it, it will come. It will come. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Can you guys think Maybe. of any pre orders that, that came out that eventually just got cancelled and never happened? Yeah, there I think there was uh I can't remember the name of the company, but they did this Assassin's Creed statue based on uh, Jacob Fire. It's the one that took place like in in London. I think is where the where that game took place. I forgot which which I think it was called Syndicate. I think it was the game. But there was a statue of him on a chair, um, and it was it had like uh, like a, like a bottle on the floor. It looked like he was in a bar, uh, and that was that was on Sideshow Site for a little bit. And I want to say that the company uh, just either went out of business or just lost it, and they just didn't, they didn't uh. produce that statue. Brian Moore had one too that they were gonna make and they cancel it. Was the, was the Batmobile? Thank you. Uh, uh, the Batmobile you. that uh, they had on for uh, pre-order. Bills in the chat. <laughs> and, uh, they canceled that statue. They took it out. Everybody got their money back. Everybody mm -hmm. was kind of upset about that. So, but they took out the Batmobile they were supposed to make, and they took that out. Hmm. Oh, we got we we got my buddy Daniel Bell, dude. I love staring at this Captain America statue every night before I go to bed. It is <laughs> well, I I, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes on a good night, I whisper sweet nothings to it. <laughs> and, and thanks, thanks. Eddie. So I, I get to ask him this question directly. Hey, uh, Daniel, are you going to be in San Diego? I hope but, um, at some point. John, what were you I, saying, brother? I was saying thank you to to Edwin Gonzalez for the, the super for the donation. Show. What's up, man? Thank you, Edwin. Um, yeah. So, Splair Nay, you guys down for that? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. It's well, before I get to that though, Ben, did you guys see that Krypton was back on? On you guys, have you guys watched Krypton? No. I yeah. I watched it back on. Huh? I watched it. You haven't watched it either. Yeah. I've no, I've watched it. I oh. I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It was it wasn't bad. And now the new season's gonna have uh, what's it? Doomsday, um, Lobos in it. I saw. Yeah, they they teams they teased though Doomsday in that one episode. Yeah, in the final episode. Yeah. Oh, congr right. congratulations, Daniel. Uh, you know, on the uh, yeah, congrats uh, on the expecting the, on the baby, expecting on the baby, Mazel Tov. Oh yeah, yeah. congratulations, yeah. man. That's congratulations, awesome. Congratulations, man. Very cool. Nice, man. Congrats, Daniel. But no, I thought uh, Krypton was pretty pretty cool. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in this new season. Yeah, me so too. Me too. I've been looking forward to seeing that come back. Yeah, I got Lobo. Interested in seeing that. It should be good. It should be and good. 
Lobo's got a daughter in comic books, if you guys don't know that. Crush. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was going to say, my, is her name is Loba. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only Crush. Seth, man. Only yeah, Seth. That's what he's here for, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of speculation on possibly like who her mom could be, and a lot of people are speculating it could be Harley Quinn. So that could be a first appearance you may want to go out and get. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a one in twenty five variant where it's just her on the cover. It's pretty cool. I want I want to say it's Teen Titans like thirty two. I could be wrong on that, but right. Crush first appearance Crush. Go check that out. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. All right. So let's do this. Boom. Hit you with that that classic movie. Piece. Oh, uh, Star Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers, man. I know it's all you went to the theaters to see this one. It's from it's from the planet of Kandathu. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so hated this movie, but I can never stop watching oh, whatever, it. Whatever, dude, that movie's a cult classic. Get it is. It. I know. The I don't like the movie. movie. Ever. No, fine. <laughs> I do not like this movie, but but I will watch it every time it comes on TV. It's like I have to. <laughs> the only kind of good bug is a dead bug. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only good line out of the whole movie. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys know you love Rico. Oh, so Yo, not for nothing, but my man John in the in the chat from Extreme Collectibles, he's right. This freaking thing is stupid expensive. This like, what, is, 30, what is that? Thirty five hundred dollars. Thirty five hundred dollars for this thing. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here with that. Get the. Fuck. Is it is it is it no life size or something? What? I don't know, man. It's crazy. Does it talk? Yo, for that price, a bug better come up out of my floor and. Uh, <laughs> Wow, 140 people in the chat. That's awesome. Keep it moving. Yeah. Awesome. I, I, want, I want a thousand. A thousand. Come on. We and you both. Everybody. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't pay I wouldn't pay more than fifty dollars for that statue. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't know the size and, and what it's Yeah, I was just gonna of. say how yeah. big is this thing? Yeah, I don't know how big it is. It looks so. like the when it looks like from the movie. So I mean it, if you're a fan of the movie Come yeah, on. You, could you honestly say if you're listen? I I get that people are fans of movies and stuff like that, but you got to draw the line at some point. I mean, thirty thirty five hundred dollars, man. I could think of better things to spend thirty five hundred dollars. Yo, on man, people went bananas that. over those those uh, those busts last week. The uh, yeah. Did you, did you guys see all that? What the Queen, the Queen, yeah, ones? The, the Queen yeah. Studios bus. They went bananas over that. Yeah, but I would go. Mm-hmm. And, and what was the price point? Three, three grand? grand? Like three grand. Yeah, mm-hmm. but look how realistic that they, those those that, look, man. That I bug mean, looks as realistic yeah. as it did in the movie. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I would say it looks that 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 is looks a pretty spot pretty on. realistic. Yeah, that looks spot on to the alien. I know, man. That that that's the in fact, bro. Don't you remember that's the alien from like you know mid five ten or like you know hour one something like that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the movie, I, this is when he was attacking the the one dude. And he How did you him. find this, George? I just was searching. Yeah. <laughs> George was George 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 was uh, was statue hunting on the internet. That's what I do, man. That's what I do on Monday nights. <laughs> I find stuff to show you guys. Every I'm day. Going Every day. on that. And by the way, first appearance of Crow. So, so, Team Titan Twenty. That's what. Uh, this is by default display. Finally, a PF Flash. Yeah. And none other than Daniel Bell, right? So. Hey, look! I don't know anything that he's done that I haven't liked so far. So true. If it's if it's as half as good as, if it's as half as good as the Captain America, then I think we're golden. So finally, a flash display, and I bet uh, uh, Pop Culture Fate would say the same thing, man. He's probably been waiting for this. I would just like this. It looks amazing. I want one uh-huh. simply because Sideshow finally listened to you guys. And, and made a flash. I'm gonna print this flash. I'm gonna. Do you put think it... that's why they did it? Because they were listening to us? No, 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 bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna buy the statue. I'm gonna put it on my shelf, and I'm gonna have a sign next to it said, "Proof that Sideshow has a heart." <laughs> <laughs> Politics. Politics. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make my JW statues out of that color. That looks. That, that's perfect. That looks. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I would get that just because Daniel Bell did it, and it would look nice next to my Captain America that he did. Absolutely. Uh, I always gotta make sure the the paint factory does a great job on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Just hey, open. I'm hyped about it, man. I like it. I am, I am too. That's a display. Definitely display. You've got to get one. Display. Display. This is display. 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 Yeah. All right. Every day, every day. So this is another uh, San Diego. I think it's a Comic Con exclusive. Uh, this is a uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision. Uh, this is by Eddie Adi uh, Granov. This is the same dude that did that uh, Iron Man uh, art print uh, some time ago, mm-hmm. a little bit ago. 
Actually, that's those the last figures, figure those, that, that image looks just like the two PF figures. Mm -hmm. It looks. It isn't. That's awesome, right? I think it looks real pretty. Yeah, it looks just like him. I, I, it, it looks amazing. Yeah, it's another little, another little teaser for you guys on the Audi Grand Off scene. Check out the Choice Fine Art booth at San Diego Comic Con. That's all I'm say. <laughs> well, do we ever not check it out? <laughs> I know, but you're going to see somebody very special sitting there. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh snap! Yeah. Gonna see, go you're going to see Trump. You're going to see Trump. Oh, no. We'll just stay on the air after we go off the air and talk. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I don't, I don't Thanks for the support. I don't think that print is is a is a San Diego exclusive though. No. Mm -mm. You sure? Nope. Okay. Yes, yeah, as it goes, it goes up for, it goes up this Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. And it's available Monday, if not. You're if, looking uh, it was part of the. You're looking for a San Diego Comic Con exclusive from Adi Gramoff. I don't know. Come somewhere. Hey. Right? <laughs> I, I want to say this is part of Sideshow's Comic Con uh, uh, reveals for the for the week. I think I think is what it is. I, I can't remember. I saw a little bit of their their show, but I'm you know. No, I, I like this this print nice. a lot. It I looks really It looks cool. good. That is one PF that I still don't have, and that is Vision, and I want it, and mm -hmm. I I didn't get on that when it first came out, and I wish I had. True. You know what, Calvin? I I bit I bit on. You can see it right behind me over here somewhere. I bit on the uh, Kotobukiya. I love it. I, I I love it. It goes it goes perfect with with in scale with my bow and scarlet witch. I love it. I I know you're doing a little different scale, but I I, I think uh, Sosa just knocked it out of the park. But that original PF that was iconic. True. There. Is that it, George? No, no, ain't it. Oh, okay. Letting you guys talk. I can't remember where. All it was. right. <laughs> That's where we were. Okay, boom. How about this one, Red Sonia? That's dope. Wow, Red Sonia. I think this one looks nice too. That's dope. Yeah, but display. That's a display for me. That's dope. Is this Yay! Pre pre to a new PF that's coming out? That'll be the third one, right? Yeah, right. If they show another one of these this this year, I'm gonna be like, man, that's three in three years. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a. Oh, all of them sell out too. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Red Sony. I don't have a statue of her, but that art is dope. They, yeah, that's dope. Nice. That's dope. Right. And look, and you could get it. I guess you could get the white around the trim too. That's dope too. The white and red to the corner, either black yeah. or red or white or red. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, nice piece. Bloody is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's real good. <laughs> Bloody and something else. All right, let's go. <laughs> 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 this is a nay for me. That's a big nay nay. You're showing this, this again. PCS. Did I show this last week? That's a huh? big nay nay. This is PCS, right? It's PCS. Did it's I show this last week? It, I don't. It'll yeah. never come out. So I can't remember. remember. It's already. Right. Yeah. My bad. I, I can't remember right. if I did or if I didn't. That is. Yeah, yeah. All right. So nay for no. all of us. No. You didn't like the bikini, the bikini statue, George? No. I know you did not. It was like, dude, hey, take it. <laughs> That's a name for me. Oh, That's a name for me. <laughs> Go ahead, Seth. I love Corolla! <laughs> <laughs> I saw this. I was like, yo, I put it in. Seth will be happy when he sees it. I need that in my life. I need that like a fat kid needs chocolate. All right? No, <laughs> right. <laughs> I need that. I need that shit. Like I'm tired of staring at it. Like I want it now. <laughs> what, what is what? it? Seth? You can get that. It's a, it's a it's a it's a teal it's a it's a teal chrome Batman. So basic. So basically, they put these. You know, they they put these Batmans out every so every so often. I mean, and eventually, to every be honest, so you they are gonna run out. <laughs> they are gonna run out of every colors. So it's been like at every Comic Con for like the last. Yeah. So, like, so the blue ones. They're gonna start giving you the corals and the fusion. Yeah. And yeah. The, and the, the, the next, the next rose gold. The next, yeah. the next spotted color. Chrome the next color. Spot black chromes and spot white chromes. So <laughs> the next, the next color I want them to make is sea foam. Sea <laughs> foam, yeah, sea foam mint. That's gonna be your next, oh your God. next. Uh, so I mean, the blue chrome, the blue chrome Batman was it was at San Diego two years ago. 
The green one was at Emerald City. The orange one was last year at New York Comic Con. <laughs> um, Fate says Fate the Christmas it, ornament. Fate this is a Christmas ornament. Yo, that's what you should do with all of your, your Batman pop set. Get all the different ones, and then you can make it a Christmas tree, and you put them all up. Put them on a Christmas tree, yeah. Whatever. Oh, they would reflect haters. the lights perfectly. <laughs> Whatever. Go hunt, go, go hunt your stuff. <laughs> I, I, I think that would be awesome Christmas go, ornaments. Go hunt your stuff. Go hunt your statues on the internet. While me uh, that is awesome. Yeah, no, I like how like Kevin said that. That would be awesome. <laughs> awesome. But, but the reality, yeah. though, Seth, you know, that would be a cool little Christmas tree, bro, if you had, if you had a bunch of these pop be. ornaments, bro. Yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah. Awesome. The crow yeah. ones. The crow ones. Oh, the crow ones. All the crow ones. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. They, never, not even come, they never come out of the box. No. Some come they'll out never, of the box. What if your never, box got ruined? You be you. You know how many hits you get on YouTube. Box, you know how many hits they're in hard plastic. They're in hard yeah. plastic cases. You know, yeah, like, you know how many hits you get on YouTube if you had a Christmas tree just with pops of just cool yeah, pops hanging saying, around that idea. thing. That's you get it. mad. Somebody's you, gonna do it. Somebody's you, gonna you, do it. You heard me? It's clear. I wouldn't get mad. Let them. Let them fucking do it. My come off and be like, that's where it's so cool. I want to start buying chromes just to do it. Yeah, then you probably get a million hits over that thing. Oh my goodness! All right. Get back over here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, OG Geek and, and said it like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we all think Wildcats. Mm. That's dope. No, did did any of you guys ever read Wildcats? I did. I have uh, back, 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 in the, back in the day, but I vaguely remember it. Yeah, I have the first Wildcats. I have number yeah. one. Yeah. Nice. I have Seth, number one, have too, you... Jason. Robin? Seth, gotta... have you seen the the no. um, the oh. mini the mini co stuff by Iron Studios, I think? I know oh, they can't see that, but you can see this chat. No, I haven't. The omnibus. From that. There you go. I just Sick. Sick. Everybody can see. Nice. Sick. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, for me. I'm going display on that. It looks great. I think display. I like it a lot. That's cool. I'm glad they're, they're showing some love to this line, too. That'd be cool if there was a light up feature with the hand. Mm. I don't know. I just like light up features on statues. I think it just gives it that extra, extra pizzazz. True. Right. I agree with you, man. I saw this electro today. That's pretty dope. I like them if they don't have batteries. Me too. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Because I'm sure that's a shit's a bitch to lift up the base and try to slap out. It's the not. A, it's not just that. Just that. Like I have the Dracula um, blade statue from Sideshow. It's like you have to make sure you take those batteries out because they will corrode. Yep. Yeah. yeah that's on true. anything, on anything that you have batteries on, you gotta take out. You gotta leave them there. They corrode. <laughs> Right. Boom. This is the XM Studios Catwoman 1-6 scale. I like this. Me. me too. Let's play for me. Have any of their 1-6 scale shipped? I think Flash, has that shipped yet? I don't no, think it's flipped. No, not yet, no. I think I Superman is coming close. What's that like noise, yo? Yeah, that. The devil. It's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> trying to have a show y'all <laughs> alright um, yeah no I, I think Superman's actually the first one that's going to be releasing ah, I may be wrong about that too that's the hashtag yeah, that's crazy crazy because I ordered, I ordered that Flash New York Comic Con it's still not out that's a banana yeah and I ordered the um, uh, Aquaman at Comic Con yeah I remember yeah you did that one I did the Flash yeah, I remember when it was up there in the next so, going back to what we were talking about pre-orders mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> do they do they get fulfilled or is it just false hopes? <laughs> I that was a reason for doing it. We got a discount. Yeah, yeah, it's true. They were giving a discount at the convention, right? You got a discount on something that you're never going to get. <laughs> you know, Seth. Sorry, maybe hey, you're right. I mean, how long is it? I mean, how long has it been since you pre-ordered it? October. October. Okay, so it's been almost October. a year. It's almost been almost a year already. True. True. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's nice. Are you trying to make us cry, Seth? I'm saying <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 I can, I can do that without bad mash, bad, bad <laughs> <laughs> I let, I let them take their time and give me a good piece and try to rush out statues. Just take your time. I agree with you, Junior. I'm right good, there with right. you. Take your time. I don't give a shit if it gets pushed back three more months. As long as you're gonna three more years, product, right? Just good. doesn't matter. I don't care. As long as the product comes out good, take the time that you need. Just give them like what I asked for. That's all. So, scream. Are we displaying her? That's an A for me. Mm. Is it because of the character or you don't like this statue? I don't, I don't like the color. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I just don't like the colors on her, the burgundies on her and stuff like that. No, not That's a fan of her. Kind of I don't like this statue at all. Yeah, not a fan of her. Okay. Looking, at, looking at it makes me want to scream. Yeah. 
That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I like, don't the, like the lethal protector scream to yeah. me. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm hey, this hey. Way. Everybody else says nay. I don't know. Maybe because they've never been a statue of her. I don't know. Mm. Well, they have a Marvel. They have a Marvel Legends of her, which is actually not that not that bad. But yeah, I've seen that. You're right. It yeah. is pretty good. All right. I mean, sometimes it's, I, sometimes I, like I'm just getting into the Marvel Legends, and I mean, sometimes, man, I think they just hit the head. You know, for for the price point, I think they they do a great job on those. Not all of them, but for but for the most part, there have been some that that I've seen that are really bad. But I I, I really enjoy getting into these Marvel Legends figures. So. All right. Okay. Is I was gonna say is now because I know a lot of you, a lot of times you guys or certain people have mentioned they don't like the same statues being made. Is it cool that they're making a statue like this, even though you don't? I like think it's it? freaking a hella cool they're making a statue like this. Yeah. All right. I, I think this is you have to go certain routes to get this one, but yeah. Cool. All right. That was my question. Thank you, Calvin. I don't know what the fuck this is, guys. What the hell <laughs> is that? Yo, come on, display screen before I display this. The that top part of it looks like a penis. Yeah. That <laughs> oh my god. It kind of does, no. yo. Actually, I'm looking at that now, it kind of does. Oh, this no. thing is so weird. <laughs> You're gonna get hit. No, it's a flex. Is that the thing? Oh my god, it's it's stick tail. Did Calvin say that? Yo, it's Don Carpenter's the thing. This came out of Calvin. Oh my god, you're gonna get penetrated by dick tail. I didn't say all that. I, I, ooh. Oh my god. I didn't say all that, Seth. Well, yeah, you can see well, the scro- you can listen, see the scrotum. You don't have you don't oh, have to say it, Calvin. You just instigate. <laughs> <laughs> no, Calvin's right. The scrotum's right there. You can see it. No. Uh, oh my goodness! Like, see where the tank is. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, look at the tank's like right above the neck. I saw it on on uh, Facebook. <laughs> Calvin, <laughs> Calvin is only speaking maxims. He only speaks maxims. Okay. Um, <laughs> I found I found it on Facebook, John. I thought it would make a good talking piece. Oh, and it really is. Oh, we got, we got, we got, talking. we got penis out of it. Yeah, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can see how you would, I, George. I can see how you would take a look at that. It's a great talk. We got penis out of this conversation. It's yeah. awesome, I, George. I can see how you would take a look at that. You know what? This penis would be great to talk about. Oh man. Oh man. Was it coming? Was it coming in other colors? Oh man. Uh, Seth, I thought you'd be excited. I thought we'd get Seth excited. <laughs> No, no, no. That is awesome. It's the oh, penis creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay. That's awesome. Oh my god. It's like the whole <laughs> nether region, man. That's just hey, oh, hey. There you go. Funny. Awesome. That looks phenomenal. It's good, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the character, but Okay, that's... Cloud. There you go. Hell yeah. I think that's the Econ Econ night Econ something. Yeah. Cloud. What econ company studios. is doing this? Econ These... Studios. Econ, there you go. <laughs> okay, just said this show used to be classy. <laughs> this should have never been classy, man. <laughs> Say classy, San Diego. <laughs> That's my man, man. That dude's cool. I would display this. I think it looks good. Yeah, oh, it's great. I doubt it. I'm right, say classy, you like, Yo, that does look like the whale of a giant. Area 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 fifty one is saying this looks like it's already been dropped. Has Calvin got his hands on it? <laughs> nah. Oh man! Damn, I don't think so. Oh. It looks good. All right. Well, if it's a Bradford exchange, you can bet your ass Calvin's got his hands on it and drop it. <laughs> now, I showed this last week, but I don't think we had a I color. Like this piece. Yeah, I didn't show this last week, but we didn't have the color. Yeah, I'll, I'll, display this. Let's yeah, say. I'll display this. I'll definitely display this. That looks cool. Also, oh, they're like... going with the green suit? Because they had a mm-hmm. blue suit, like... too, on this. Like it. Right. It looks, yeah. it, it looks like he might be, uh, the way he's screaming, it looks like he might be getting penetrated by the penis monster. Oh, <laughs> that oh, is a quarter-scale statue, so if that's the case, that has got to be one huge base. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is a big base. Looks good. Looks good. It looks really good. I like this one. These colors. But you have to you had to make it big because he's ripping right through the head. So Man, this not is the wrong way. Right. But yeah, you know. <laughs> Jason, what were you saying, bro? No, it looks great. These colors are popping. It's yeah. that's a great statue. I'd get it. Yeah, yeah. To, to order to make the statue work, the head, the base had to be big because he's actually coming through it. So I, I understand why the base has to be big in the statue. I think the best thing about this is it's not a, a standard sentinel base like we've had how many hands do we have how yeah. many you know yeah. how many legs how many half a heads at least this you got him popping through the actual sentinel head i yeah. i like it i like total display 
True. And, uh, An action cool. piece. This was cool, and then, and then his uh, his neck veins on on this statue looks looks. Really oh, they, 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 it looks really good. Pops, I should like it a lot. All right, all right. Ric Flair. Woo! Woo! This is uh, Woo! this I know is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Is this Kota Bukia? This Kota Bukia. I knew it. This is, <laughs> I know um, his stuff, man. I know his stuff, bro. You can tell, man. Hey, yeah. I know his stuff. I got, I got a lot of his stuff. I like his stuff. He got some. Nice. That's the, that's the name for me, but that's too much of a feminine side. But it looks nice. It's supposed really to be uh, the girl from the Teen Titans. What the hell's her name? Oh, Raven. Raven. Yeah. Raven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She usually has the blue, purple, the purple, right? purple looking yeah. bluish tint to her. Yeah. Is this so so also? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's uh, nice. It, it looks really nice, though. It looks good. Look, it, I, I really good. It's really good. It didn't look like his work. That's why I was asking. Yeah, go to like, kid does free work. I like what Skill Powers is saying. He's like GameStop statues. <laughs> <laughs> OG Geek said it looks like Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's right. No shade. No shade. No shade. That's great. That's hey, Drew, speaking of GameStop, they had a they had a sale last week, I think, where they were a bunch of statues were Yeah, ten dollars, man. Yeah, ten dollar statues. I totally fucking slept on that and I was so pissed. Oh man. man. Damn, that sucks. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here you go. The yeah. Cyclops, Phoenix Force. Phoenix Force. That's a display for me. Uh, uh I'm gonna say no. I don't no. like the Captain Morgan pose. I like the one with like George like got. No. I like no. it. No, nay. No. Nay. Nay. Play. <laughs> oh, is this, is this uh, the same one that you that you got? Yeah, it's the doing? same one that's gonna be on cool. No, not well. Same character. Same character is gonna be on cool customs, but not uh, not the same size. Oh. I look at that statue and he's like, "Hey, after a tough day of fighting crime, yeah, <laughs> you know, why don't you come join me, Captain?" <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm determined. You know, nah, that's all I see, Seth, bro. Every time I look at this. <laughs> Like, hey, I like those statues that look like I'm on. I like those statues that says I'm a badass yeah, and I'm gonna fuck that, you up. What was that movie with, um, looks like I'm a badass and I'm gonna fuck you up. All right, John, what was you saying? Remember that movie with Chris, with Chris Thames where he's standing at the girl's bed? Oh, that's yeah, a yeah, yeah. vacation, yeah, where he's standing vacation. at the thing in the freaking yeah. Yeah, never mind. he's just flinging it. It's just yeah. like that, bro. <laughs> that was a great movie. No. All right. Boom. XM Studios, one six scale, Doomsday. Whoa. <laughs> that looks that nice. like a that, that looks like a shit monster. What? That looks good. That looks good. No, it actually that looks, looks really like Doomsday. That looks like Doomsday. Actually, looks better than Sideshow. It looks better than Sideshow's piece. Whoa. I think it, 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 it definitely looks better than Sideshow's piece. Yeah, it oh, definitely. Oh. Better. The base too looks amazing. It's way better than Sideshow. Man, DC fans are getting a lot of love, man, with this one six scale. Mm-hmm. Display. Yeah, I take display also. Yeah, display See, the thing, the, the thing I like the most about this one is that it's not, it's not overdone. I, what what I've seen in my past as far as a Doomsday statue coming out, I, the the creators are when they add their interpretation and it's all fine and dandy. But it's like you don't need that many spikes. You not you don't need that much texture. Good texture is good, but when you overdo it, then it gets busy. Mm. I, I mean, this isn't colored right now, so I really can't tell. But so far, I, I dig it. And I, I I mean, I'm not a DC guy, but I dig this because it, it's simplicity. I love, they I'm have a com- announced of a complex character. I this look, is I, like their, their what tenth figure they've yeah. announced almost. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. they're pumping them out. They're pumping they're, them out. They're actually doing a good job. They're actually doing a good job with the whole this, DC line. Yes, the, Junior, with this, but not just the not just the DC line. Not all of the one six line. Don't get me wrong, but this one six line. They're doing. I I like it because. They're sticking to the old roots, but they're bringing in the new technology into them. So they're yes. doing they're right. doing a they're doing a good collaboration yeah. of old school statues, but with new school technology. Yeah, and it's working. I mean, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, guys, but I love what they're doing and what they're bringing to the table. They still have one fourth yeah. prices on them, though. Yeah, I like, uh, uh, I like yeah, yeah, I, I like area I like area fifty one's comment. What will it take you to get you into this Honda today? <laughs> well, yeah, that's it, man. The super girl, the super girl looks good too from DC. They're super from, 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 so they're actually doing a pretty good. Yeah, they're doing a good job with that line. I actually love the one. I saw my New York Comic Con. You saw them too. Oh, that Charleston. They had a nice display of all. Oh yeah, they looked really that's, amazing. That's why I got yeah. when I saw that flash. When I saw that, that that flash, I was like, oh my god, that thing is amazing. 
Mm -hmm. this, this looks amazing. It looks like he's in motion. I like statues. Mm -hmm. Yes. In motion. Mm -hmm. That's great. I agree with you, bro. I, yeah. I like everything about this piece. I, I really do. Base is cool, too. I like how he's, got the, he's standing on top of the Daily Planet sign. That's yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, th this the only thing about this that, that I wish now is that they may, had made the Superman to match up with this piece. If they knew they were going to do something yeah, like this. Yeah, that oh, it would no, be oh. not that museum type yeah. booty crystal pose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had made the Superman look like he was on the other end, like, you know, getting ready to, like, you know, yeah. hit him. Then I've been like, okay, that will make a good little diorama right there. Cool. All right. Boom, Spider-Man. Y'all think about I think this one. We've seen this before, and I said no. You said no. no. All right. I think we saw it while it was unpainted. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was unpainted. Yeah, that's a no for me too. I like it. I I like it. I think it's cool. I just the base. The base doesn't do it for me, man. Maybe they had a better base for it, and I could have said yeah, but the base doesn't do it for me. It seems kind of just like square. Plain. Yes. Yes. Like just a straight up statue, just standing see, but, there. Yeah. See, but but sometimes simpler is better. Not in this case, though. <laughs> Well, to each his own. I like it. So that would be a display for me. I'll take the one from Chad's comic, the Delato one. If they have a statue like that, I'll, I'll get that one. Sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going. Nay? Nay. Okay. All right. Well, All right, well, Goku. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's what my kid. My son would love that. He's on the, he's on the Nimbus okay. cloud. So I love that. That's a nice. Yeah, I like that. I should collect a, a collect that for them. Looks pretty cool. I like it. I, he's got that I look like on his face. Statue, I'll display yeah. that. Yeah, I'll display that. Yeah. What are you saying, John? Got, got me right there. Go ahead, John. Oh, I like this statue. It kind of gave me like a vibe of like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, though. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like it. Yeah, I like yeah, it. I, I remember him seeing him on the cloud when he was a little kid, Goku, and in Dragon Ball. But then, then this particular character reminds me more of Dragon Ball Z as far as his age. I think he's just happy because he collected all the Dragon Balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm talking about the cloud, though. <laughs> just don't, just don't get him mad. <laughs> I've been watching uh, Dragon Ball Super recently. It's not bad. No, it's actually pretty good. I started watching it, and I don't have any pieces like this. I, but I've always wanted to get the Luffy, that big old red hand. I don't yeah. know. That looks pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Actually, oh. actually, I may have one in here that you're gonna that you might like, bro. I'm gonna get to All that right. one. See it, yeah. Someone's here who'll love that piece. Storm. All right. I just don't. Is this custom? Yes. <laughs> we don't say that. Wow, hey, cool. we don't say we don't say custom on no, this show. We, we say do. fan art. Fan art. Apparently, we can say whatever we want. We can say whatever the hell we want. No, I know. I'm just. I'm I like a display Listen, all day, buddy. I'm taking like my. It. I'm taking my shot. Okay. That's all I'm That's saying. All day, man. Guys, I'll be right back. Sorry, I got Is this right. by the monkey okay. guy crew again? Angry monkey? No. I was just throwing it out there because it it reminds me of that. That's all. It does. The, the lightning, like that, the lightning bolts do. Yeah, this yeah. is a display, dude. Oh, That's what you have, Junior. Right? You have that. Yeah, I have the angry monkey one. Yeah, I got that song. That song's badass, bro. Uh, that I like song the, is badass. I like I the tornado, that the tornado looking. Yeah. And actually, you know what I did? I put lighting behind her. And the inside of the, I'm sure it's, I have, uh, I put lighting behind her, and uh, and the wind right now is glowing inside. It looks really hot with that glowing. I put that little glowing effect to the, to the inside of the wind tunnel. Yeah, you know I don't have think? a storm statue, and I really want one. I just, I don't know. I did. I never liked the sideshow PF version, and um, I didn't, I didn't like XMs that much either. So I, I don't know. Make sense. I didn't like XM storms either. I agree with you. I didn't like it at all. You know what? You know what would take that statue over the top, in my opinion. Hmm. But if the lightning, if it had a light up feature, and it had the lightning, and the lightning would just flicker. Yeah, that's that's cool. the topic of the show. Seth talking about let's let's have them all flicker, yeah. everything flicker. He wants lights on everything. Just, just light it up. I like light up statues. Either I, that or make it all chrome. Either that or make it all chrome, right? Make it chrome. No, who said anything about chrome? I did. <laughs> yeah. Boom! This is a, a Legends helmet. Yeah, that's uh, dope. the Punisher. Yeah, the, the right. Punisher War Machine. I kind of really like a lot of the Legend uh, props they put out. Yeah, they do. They, this one looks cool, but it, it again, this looks just like the Iron Man helmet that I already have. They just gave it a new yeah. skin. The one that I did miss out on that I wish I had gotten, and that was Star Lords. Mm. It actually oh, has Josh, the, uh, Josh has Star Lords, right? Yeah, George? Josh has Star Lords. Aren't these the ones you put in your head and they never come off? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's, it's not very comfortable, man. I tried wearing one for a while, man. It, it, it actually the Black Panther one is not bad, though. It's no, not I put bad. some padding on that one. Yeah, and then the eyes. I mean, it's not bad at all. It's 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 pretty comfortable. I'm not a fan of that. No, come on, man. Come here. Oh, is that Victoria? Yes, I want. I want get in here. Hi. Where's your co-star? Where's your co-star? We want to see your co-star. That's not the co-star. He's the co-star. Yeah, She's the star. Yeah. He's the star. I'm sorry. There you go. I was like, get in here. Victoria, hi. Hey, Victoria, how are you? Hi. You hey. doing? I love your show. It's amazing. Thank you. Doing a great job. Doing a great job. Yeah, she she she's the one that controls everything. I can tell. You can tell by watching her. <laughs> you know what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So if you guys haven't gone and checked out um, Jason's uh, statue review with his with his daughter, I mean, you guys you guys have to see it. I mean, it's a blast just watching you guys on on camera is just absolutely amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, your last guys... uh, Victoria, your last show was amazing though. I, I had so much fun watching that. Yeah, you nailed it with that green screen. <laughs> yeah, the, green, the green screen's awesome. Yeah, boy, there's it's the possibilities are limitless on what you could do with that. Oh, <laughs> absolutely, for sure. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you guys do next. The next one is going to be Poison Ivy, the samurai line. We're, that, that's our next video. We already finished filming, but now we're editing, so that'll come out nice. pretty soon. Right. There's going to be like vines growing everywhere and people getting sucked under. And I told I told Jorge it's Mortal Kombat 11 style, but now I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see that one. That'll be cool. Yeah, she, she, killed, she killed it with that um, with that Gentle Giant review. Oh, like, yeah. Little, I like that, yeah one that, too. Was, that was great. That was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I like that line. You have a bright future, young lady. Keep keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. And then who knows? You'll maybe maybe you'll hire your dad at some point. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I can be her roadie. I can be whatever. It doesn't matter. You know? <laughs> Big Dad, carry my statues. <laughs> That's awesome. All definitely right. definitely Disney shows. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, bye. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Vic, the minute your daughter came on the camera, Vic's like, put a yeah. muzzle on put Seth. Put a muzzle on Seth. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> hey, hey, PG hey, listen, PG. listen, okay? I know I, I, know I <laughs> say appropriate, PG, inappropriate baby. things, but if, obviously when there's a child in the room on camera, yes, people, I do have enough common sense to put a muzzle on it. I thought Thank it was you. great that That's somebody... That's the only thing, children. Somebody yep. commented on my video. I think they were meaning Seth, but somebody commented yeah, on one of my videos, great. and they were all like, "You know, I like your show, but you know, sometimes your your sexual innuendos and your uh, uh, your vulgar, vulgar language and the cursing." And, and I was like, "On this video, I, it forced me to watch my video again." I was like, "Dang, maybe I did." George, you know? yeah, George, George messages, me, messages me yesterday morning. He goes, "Hey, he goes, you want to hear something funny?" So he says that. So he says that to me, and then I'm like, "Are you sure they got the right video?" <laughs> you sure it's not mine? My, my, daughter has, my daughter has a mentality of a 16 year old, so I don't have to worry about her that much. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know what you're saying, Seth. I know. I know. Yeah. I just respect my mama told me better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's, all, she's awesome, Jason. You should be really proud of her. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm telling you, it's, it's not even it's, it's half as interesting without her. I've always said I that. agree. Well, you're sharing something with her, and that's awesome. You're sharing something you like, and she likes it with you, and that's 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 all that matters to me if I'm doing that with my child. It's just having that that moment with her, which is awesome. That's great that you're doing that with her. That's oh, awesome. thank you, thank you. I know Kadeem Hardison. He told me I've been talking to him for a little bit, and he said that's because your daughter has natural raw talent. He said it just like that. I was like, well, thanks, man. No, <laughs> so you just go ahead and name drop like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Go ahead and just name drop like that. Okay. You just name drop one of my favorite. Freaking actors! You just, uh, just talking to Kadeem Waters, and you know, you know, we just talked, chatted up, whatever. I, 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 I freaked out when I saw him unboxing the, that the uh, statue on Sideshow. I'm like, what the hell? Uh -huh. that, his, his inner geek. He said it's that's always been with him for a long time, but now he's finally doing it. So, so nice. Yeah, most people probably haven't seen uh, uh, some of your videos, or at least the scene that you. Did you share that with anybody? The scene oh from the movie God. you were in? Which one? The the uh, the uh, eclair. The when you guys are eating the oh, 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 the, 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 the Wilder. Yeah, the Van Wilder. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 
friends and family have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious, it, man. It was egg yolk with water, if you want to know what I was eating. It was, <laughs> it was about 13 takes. So just, you know, you know, your imagination can run wild there. It, it was, uh, everybody was coming around with a bucket and we were spitting everything out. So and then we kept- Oh going. my God. Yeah. The, the best, the so best. it was just as gross on camera as it was off camera, right? Eh? Oh yeah. Yeah. It tastes like, um, like methicillin, like this egg yolk substance. It was horrible. Yeah. But the, the hey, best. it was a paying gig and I did it. So yeah. there you go. The, the best is when I first started talking to Jason and me and Jason were messing each other back and forth. And then he goes, hey, he goes, you know, I was in a movie, right? And then he sends me the clip and I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, that was you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, really? I'm like, out of all the parts in, the, in, the, in the movie that right. Right. Hey, what's the best scene in the movie? I don't know. And Seth, and Seth, can you and Seth, can you believe this guy? He's been in a major movie, right? And he was he was too shy to come on that, that geek show. I know, I know. I, I haven't been in front of a camera in over ten years, but I'm doing it now. And if anything, I'm learning from my daughter here. She's the one with the natural talent, so I'm picking up. I'm feeding off her energy. And it's right. and it's funny too about exactly how many times I've watched that movie in my lifetime, and I never knew it was. You know, obviously, you never know. And then I was like. God, man, I must have seen that movie at least 30, 40 times. And like now it's like I watch it again and I'm like showing my wife. I'm like, hey, that's Jason. I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's your name drop too. <laughs> yeah, I was. I did that and I was on the half hour news hour. It was a conservative, think of the Daily Show with Jon Stewart. This was like yeah. the conservative side of it on the Fox News channel. Yeah. I was uh, John Edwards' uh, gay hairstylist. So I did a couple episodes there. So. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I, I, I've had my stints, but I, I'm going to put my daughter in it. I, I am. I, we're we're going to start. We're going to go up there to California. I know a couple of casting directors. We're going to put her in some showcases and, you know, go from there. See what happens. Yeah. I will. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, I promise. That's awesome. That's awesome. He goes, I need a retirement plan. I will do it. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's what my wife said. Start making us some money, honey. Not fine. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let's finish up this display and I only got a few more to go. No, that was a no. That's a no. No, that's a no. That's a no. That's a no. Nay. 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 Watch me, Nay. Watch your name. Watch me, Nay. Chrome. Come on, man. It's Chrome. <laughs> that's a big nene. No, man, that would make an amazing. I would get it. The, that's the top of the Christmas tree. Oh, it's cool. No, so yeah, it's the top of the Christmas tree. That's, the, that's the, like Stark thing. Yeah, at the top. Uh, it's it's cool. No, it's cool that they that they made a green a green chrome Yoda. It's pretty it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I think that's gonna be, um, Amazon or GameStop exclusive. This is Comic Con. This is Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, but they, it's a sh it's a shared exclusive, so it's gonna okay. it's gonna be either Amazon or GameStop. Okay. True. Right. It's like Yobi from Harry Potter. <laughs> he does kind of look like that. But you know, I, I yeah. lost my sock. Yeah. Oh, master. <laughs> Doby, that's awesome. There you go. Oh, oh we yeah. had a Luffy in it. That's a Luffy. Yeah. yeah. What do you just like? What Why not? What is that? It's Monkey D. Luffy. Who? Monkey D. Luffy. Cold, cold, funky, cold Medina. What? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one funky cold Medina. I'm not a fan of that, but that thing was beautiful. That but, thing looks amazing. Looks like a looks like an asshole with a bunch of hemorrhoids. Oh, wait, so, oh, I know what it is, but I don't know. Maybe it's the paint scheme. Something needs to make those characters pop out of there. I don't know. I love all those punches. Those hand punches look good. This kind of blends together. For and me. anime statues have some of the most unbelievable uh um it's the word i'm looking for it's late um my characteristics the, the features features, features. Uh, out of any Th this piece behind me this is one of my all-time favorites that's a sume piece sure. the the what they put into their pieces it's not just the color scheme but it's the action and and everything I'd love yeah. a display of just. So you guys will display this one. I I just I don't know. I say no. I gotta yeah. say that that I was. I mean, I think this is pretty cool too. But I mean, I I was looking at a whole bunch of anime statues the other day. I was checking the bunch, and then I gotta say, anime they they really really try to stay on point with the accuracy and yeah yeah uh, yep. oh yeah and the color schemes and all that. I mean, they like they take it seriously, man. 
So Dude, that, 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 that picture, that picture that, picture that you posted in the Marvelous Knights group. George mm -hmm. last week of that life size one punch man. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dude, that thing was pretty awesome. Oh man, I forgot about that. I should have put that on here too. You should have put that in there, man. I think that's pretty dope. Doesn't work, man. They they go with their um their 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 um like see through uh the clear the resin. clear resins. Yeah, clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're amazing with the clear resin, man. They do. The, the word I was going for was details, guys. By yeah, way. details. Yeah. A couple it's of people big. in the chat are saying it's too busy, and I kind of agree with them. Busy. Right. This is probably a statue that you have to see up front to see if it's oh, – yes, there a lot of them can be busy, but once you see it up front, your eye your eye kind of goes around it, which, you know, obviously it's a piece of art, and that's the way that I'm sure a sculptor, if Daniel's still in the chat, that's what they're really going for is they're trying to bring you around their piece. This one could be a little busy. I don't know. I'd have to see it up, up close and personal. But for whatever reason, like I thought the same of this piece, and then when I saw this live, I, I had to have this piece. I had it, it just had to be done, and I finally tracked it down. Uh, my boy Sam hooked me up with it, and uh, I can see where people are saying it's busy because it, I kind of felt that same way with the Dark Phoenix from XM. It was just too much Phoenix, mm -hmm. and it was too much fire. I, I can see what people are saying with this too, but again, it's, it would be something that you need to see, like the final production piece, <laughs> multiple angles, and really take a look at it. Hmm. Okay. Next, this is the other one, the Batman from San Diego. <laughs> <Carson. clears throat> see, now this one I like better than the Chrome one. I agree. Yeah, I like this one. This one is. I, like yeah, I don't know, I don't know if that one. I don't know if they, you know, because sometimes ones that are only exclusive to the cons, they um. Not all the time, but sometimes they they put they actually limit to them to a quantity. But I don't I haven't seen anything on that, so I'm sure that one probably has no uh, quantity limit on it. I'm sure people will be tripping over everybody and beating people over the head for this piece. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure at some. I'm sure at some point I'll I'll try to get it um, secondhand. All right. All right. This one I saw and I, I, I had that thought of my boy. Because I thought of specifically about Chad when 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 I saw this. <laughs> I'll display all day. That was that was in the movie and in the comic. He gets. I know. Yeah, for sure, that's awesome. And I thought about you, dude. I was like, yo, if I'm gonna get Chad excited about something, like this is gonna be it right here. That <laughs> fucking clay. That's sick. And there's a toy? That's awesome. I'm yeah, that's awesome. I, love, I, love, I love the smile. I love the smile. Looks, looks just, what, who's making that, George? Uh, crap, man. I can't remember, man. I can't remember. Is that, is that, a, is that NECA? It's, it's going to be a San Diego uh, uh, piece, I think. I want to say it's going to be at the con. Okay. So, then, uh, George, so Chad, if I, if I could get my hands on it, bro, if it's not like a crazy long line, I'll grab you one, bro. Definitely. Let me know. Awesome. Anyone check out the sewers pizza? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the sewer cap. Vic, Vic is saying George found this on the dark web. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Prime One Studios. Oh. This yeah, we'll make crap. This play looks really good. Play all day, dude. So this one has a lot of switch outs in the hand. The the hand pops out, and they have like different attachments and everything. I'm not familiar with this character. I didn't notice the Prime One at the bottom. I thought it was going to be a gaming head piece. No, Look at the Prime One. Yeah. That base is I, I've never played the games, but I, I, it looks okay. I, 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 I played it, I mean, I play it to, to number three, and I stopped playing it. But I played it all the way to Devil May Cry three, and after that, I lost interest in playing the game. But I, I played it. Never played the game, but the figure looks pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. looks, cool. looks exactly like that. That's an A. Okay. That's an A. Faux oh, show. <laughs> all right. You got uh, two more. There you go. And Nero's an A. That's what, that's what he said. Nay, mm, nay, nah, for me, man. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I might change my opinion if I see it painted. Mm. That's mm. A, no, nay, nay. nay. Even paint that'll be nay. Nay, nay. Okay, okay. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay, nay. <laughs> <laughs> Last one here he is Nightcrawler. Oh, Nightcrawler. Oh, that's dope. I like the, I'm digging the beard. Yeah, beard, bro. Yeah. yeah display. That's cool. Yeah, that's dope. I would, I would display that. Chad, is that off the comic pages? Yeah, I'm for sure. That's 
Night, I think there's a run right now called Amazing Nightcrawler that might be. Oh, okay. That's from. They don't make too many of Night Nightcrawlers, do they? Nope. No. no. The only I'm one sorry. that I ever bought that I kept was the Bowen one. It was just very true to the comic and. Yeah, the boy I, one. Yep, I, yeah, yep. The Science Show Comicet one looks pretty good though, uh, though too. No. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. I wish I wish Funko would get the license already and start making making more X Men characters because they don't. They're missing. They're missing. Rube, <laughs> they're missing Gambit. They're definitely missing a Nightcrawler. Mm. I would love to get those. Everybody's missing oh. Nightcrawler. Yeah. Everybody's missing Gambit. But it's like, but it, you know, yeah. it, but it's like the funny thing though. It's like you have they they are all popular characters and they would sell. So mm -hmm. I don't understand what the hold, you know, what the holdup is. Hey, um, George, you know what? I'm into not enough pre-orders, Seth. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, um, you know that um, that Wonder Woman one six scale. You know, Calvin, I don't know if you know it too, Charles. The one six scale uh, Wonder Woman uh, Gotham Garage. Yeah. That I have. Yeah. I was uh, having a conversation with one of the guys on Facebook because he was looking for one, right? Mm -hmm. And I paid three fifty for her, right? When I went online on eBay and Amazon to see how much she, can you believe her? They got her like eight thousand dollars. No way, man. Yeah, look, look it up. Eight eight and Amazon, look it up. eBay and Amazon. I was like eight grand. Oh, like, dude. Well, Amazon, Amazon, they they freaking overcharge yeah, for that. I don't. I mean, people had it for ten thousand and twelve thousand. No way. Dude, those are just those yeah. are just people that are that you know yeah. are hoping to catch someone who's desperate enough to pay them. Yeah. But there was no other one. No, no, nobody else was selling them. Just the three. But people. that's the reason why the price is probably up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other the other thing with regards to Amazon guys, just so you know, my my company has a marketplace on there, and we don't hike our prices up on that site. But the reason why people do hike their price, the percentage that they take is free. Ridiculous. Right. Yeah, I heard about that too. The same oh thing like eBay, God. though. What? Same like eBay. Well, eBay takes a percentage, yes, but Amazon is much more. Really? When I say, when I say rough, much man. more, it is. When I say much more, George, it's like dumb. Really? eBay, 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 take eBay takes your heart, but Amazon takes your soul. Yeah, you <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> eBay drives me crazy with that shit, man. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. So, let's make the rounds, man. What, what's going on hold this on, week? On. What's up? Hey, hey uh, Chad, that, that Batman uh, Michelangelo, that's a DC Collectibles. Okay. It's a what? It's a DC Collectibles. Oh, DC Collectibles? Okay. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> All right, so what you got coming out this week, bro? Uh, what do I have coming out this week? So, tomorrow is my usual pop pumping video, but um, I do want to just take a quick second. Um, I want to thank everybody that came out last Tuesday night to Just a Geek from the 305 to watch us do our San Diego Comic-Con live stream. So thank you, everybody that came out and watched that and helped support my man. Um, me, OG Geek, and Just a Geek from the 305 will be at Supercon on Saturday. So any of you guys that are in the Florida area that want to come and hang out with us and bullshit for a little bit, you know, shoot me, a, shoot me a message. Come hang out with us. We're looking forward to meeting up with you guys and talking as usual. Um, my pop hunting video drops tomorrow. Um, I went to the BTL collectible show on Saturday in Miami. And then also, spoiler alert, they're selling hot toys now at the Disney store. Oh, boy. <laughs> so mm. if you guys want to find out about that, watch the video tomorrow. What's popping? All right, there you go. Okay. Can I'll be on that treadmill. I'll be on that treadmill. I'll be ready. <laughs> it's, it's, a short, it's a short one tomorrow. I think I, I don't think I broke 50 minutes on that one, Jason. That's okay. That I'll put that in the Pandora. <laughs> I'll put Pandora <laughs> afterwards, okay? okay. And for all the 90 colleagues in the chat, as always on 90MF Comics, you can find me with my Wednesday weekly comic book reviews. We're doing speculation. We're showing off variant covers. So you definitely want to come check us out. Outside of that, I've been pretty busy because i'm preparing to be at supercon sunday so anyone that's going to be there sunday reach out to me check me out uh i do have to get going after this guy because i got a super early early morning tomorrow but for those of you that forgot youtube is 90 what you got going on bro um next week i think you got um 
You're gonna post like Iron Spider Man, yes. Okay. Um, collected on a budget, and I just dropped the review of this guy too. Uh, Kotobukiya Venom had some fun talking about that. Nice. Mm-hmm. He, he let you, he let you, you know right, you were George. so right, George. What's you were so right, George. Yeah. I'm so right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have to look at that. I still got to watch that video. I feel bad, man. I've been, I've been so busy with the website. So <laughs> I haven't got a chance to see anything. Got to check that out. In fact, after I get done with this, weeks, I'm looking guys. at the video. A few more weeks, guys. Updates to the website, bro. Huh? Yeah. A few, a few more, more weeks. weeks. Updates to the website. A few more weeks. That's what I've been working on mostly. Uh, Junior, what you got going on? Uh, me, I should be receiving uh, Electra at the end of the week. Nice. I think right. Friday. And um, Two Face is supposed to be shipping out this week. Uh, this week too. Okay. So, I don't know when I'm going to be receiving him, but I'll let you know. Two Face from Prime One Studios. Okay. Cool. Cool. That should be that should be dope. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to finish my line. Yeah, it's the last one. So, Jason, what you got going on, bro? Not much this week. We're probably gonna make another video of some kind i have to take a look at one of our statues and uh, you know we go from there but for sure in the next couple of days poison ivy will be out and you know hope you guys enjoy that show <laughs> really nice nice That'd nice cool. uh, all right charles i know we, we're, you're getting prepped for for san diego comic-con right we got like a few more weeks yes sir we're uh we leave next week next week monday so nice. uh we'll be out there uh, we'll see you guys out there. Thank you again, George and the, and the crew for having me on and uh, helping me do our uh, first release exclusive with you guys. And, uh, stay tuned for others because we got a couple more tricks up our sleeve, but definitely stop by the uh, booth at Comic-Con. You're going to see a lot of really good art from Choice Fine Art. Okay. Nice. Very cool. So All thank right. you. Um, guys, also, don't forget to have a happy 4th of July. America, America, fuck yeah, Mika, Mika. <laughs> the happy fourth, America, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hilarious man. Um, I got a, I got, a, I got, a, I got a few videos of me putting out this week. The one I'm most excited about is we went to go check out a friend of mine. His name is Alan. We got to see his collection this past weekend. And the display this guy had was just out of this world. So I can't wait to show you guys that. That's going to be coming out this week. Uh, also, I have a uh, review on this statue that I'm hiding behind Seth. Yeah, just, hmm. see I'm so big, I cover it. You cover everything. <laughs> That's the um, the Phoenix Force uh, Cyclops. This is going to be yeah. on the Cool Customs uh, episode. It should drop on Friday, I hope. I should have it done by then. Uh, so... That's coming out. Otherwise, like my brother said, uh, working on the website. And definitely, you remember one more week for this giveaway. So if you haven't already done so, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to get to that giveaway. But, you know, get on that. Otherwise, you might lose out on your chance to win a Wolverine Premium Format and seven other uh, items. So six, lots of right? six of them. Six days, guys. Six days. All right. So uh, thank you guys for joining us for another episode of That Geek Show. We'll be back next week, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to announce the winner. Otherwise, guys, keep it marvelous. Have a happy and safe fourth. Happy, happy, and yeah. safe fourth. Yeah, that's a keep good it one. marvelous. Yep. Keep it marvelous. Blow shit up, America. America, the future. You guys have a great night. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.